Hey gang, Scott here. I got a tip for you about adding a, a final touch of sunlight to your landscape photos. I'm revisiting some photos from Bryce Canyon. I was there last February and I'm headed back in, oh gosh, about about four weeks uh, for another workshop. You know, super excited. As I record this, there's still a couple of spaces open. If you want to join me, I'll leave a link in the show notes. But what I want to show you is this, uh, this technique of using radial filters, intersections with Lightroom. I've done a bunch of videos on these, these different techniques, but putting a couple of things together to really uh, give a nuanced yet very uh, impacting type of, uh, of kiss to a photo when you're finishing it up. So I'll walk you through some stuff here. So I have my basics done here, you know, the traditional, you know, set your camera profile, click the auto button, a couple of fundamentals in in tone curve and uh, the, the the color mixer really to keep the the hoodoos from getting too um, nuclear orange. But I, I want to walk you through some of these masks here as I'm shaping the photo because ultimately where I want you to look is here in the center of this framing. Maybe a little bit of bias toward this one hoodoo, but it's where the sunlight is coming up. Um, kind of like if you're looking at this scene, it's coming up over your right shoulder and it's hitting all these these uh, these hoodoos at different. Uh, you know, different bits and pieces of it at the same time. So building up the look here just to get you to where we're about to finish it off. You know, a little color correction in the foreground, a little darkening in the foreground, doing a, a vignette already going, okay, I want to draw you into the center of this, pulling the sky down a little bit, amplifying this one hoodoo, a little kiss there, wanted to darken the sky even more, kind of in here. And the last bit is I want to make a little accent just a little extra kiss of light to the center of the photo. Now the technique for this is, you know, you saw me doing that kind of oval shape around there. You should already be thinking radial filter. You know, we're going to use a radial. We're also going to intersect it with some, uh, definitely a luminance range mask and maybe a color range mask too, just so we're only going to be touching the tips of the hoodoos. Like if I zoom in here, looking around at all this stuff here, what I want to have highlighted is like, for example, this guy right here, I want this brighter part to just be a little bit amped up, but the other areas, not so much so that the result is these will jump out a little bit more and just, just add that extra final something. So let's get this started here. Radial filter. And I want you to be looking kind of around here, right? This this area, this is really, you know, why I framed it up this way, you know, a nice kind of natural vignette there. Okay, so we have that. Great. Uh, now we will do the intersection. So we'll use this little, little dot and intersect. And let's start with a luminance range mask. And so we'll need to zoom in some. I'm going to press the O key to turn off the overlay. So I want to pick a brighter spot there. Okay. And let me zoom back out. So now the combination is getting closer. There's still too much happening in the shadows. Well, um, let's turn on our luminance map and we can adjust things right now. Right now, the luminance map is showing me everything. My eyes are focused here. So let's, where am I focused? I'm looking at this stuff right in here. So as I shove this uh, shove, as I push this slider around, what I'm trying to do is get those little bits of hoodoo that are catching the sunlight, right? These are facing the sun coming over. You know, you're, you're looking at this scene. You're coming over your right shoulder. And it's not going to be uh, hitting the bright highlights. And it's certainly not going to hit the shadows. I don't want the shadows involved. Push those shadows back. So I'm just getting this little bit of a kiss. Now, I do want to taper it off a little bit. So... The space between, you know, what's inside this, which is the full effect inside this luminance range, and then tapering it off. I've got a bunch of other videos about luminosity masks and luminance ranges in, in uh, the YouTube catalog here, so check those out. All right, so that's looking better. Now, as I hover over what's called Mask 6, you can see what things are looking like, all right? Okay, a um, little more adjustment needed. Let's just tug this down. I don't need to be affecting the, the mountains out there. I really want to have you looking here. So our mask is looking pretty good. Let's turn off the overlay. Now for the, the actual change, you know, what are we going to do? Well, let's go to color and we'll take temperature and I'll push it up. And I'll push it up hard. You'll see it jump up, right? 
I don't want that much, of course. Just a little touch. A little touch of warmth. And perhaps a little touch of exposure. Okay? So then when we look at that before and after, see that jump? I'll zoom in so you can see a little better on the video. Position that like this. Before and after. Just getting that extra kiss, right? Now, we'll have to go one step further. I always want to take you one step further. You're an intelligent crowd. You want to know the, uh, the extra secrets here. So we did this radial, and then we did this luminance mask, right? Well, what if there's another area of the photo you also want to have that little extra kiss of warmth? Uh, for example, in this photo, we did this thing here. Well, what about these hoodoos down there? They're getting sunlight, too. Well, here's what we'll do. We're going to add another radial and just kind of drag it and position it over here. Now, that's a full strength radial as opposed to this one, which has been intersected. So if I look at the mask, you see this is, this is not balanced, right? The second radial is at full strength. In your masking window here. Grab that radiant. I'm clicking and dragging. I'm going to drag it beneath the luminance range. So now what happens is these two radials are now intersected with this luminance range. And you've got that same kiss of, of sunlight just down on this little section here. So if we zoom in down here, and then we do the before and after. Before and after. This one's a lot more subtle, but it is there. And... Once you shaped that directional, uh, not even directional as far as Lightroom is concerned, you shaped that little bit of extra sunlight with a radial and a luminance range mask in one spot, you can take radials and put them in other spots in your photo. Just bring them beneath that intersection of your luminance range mask and you get that sunlight pop in the various spots in your frame that you need. And that's going to do it. I'm going to go finish up this photo with uh, maybe a, a, a finishing touch or two. I'm pretty happy with how it looks now, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the tip. If you got any other questions, drop them below. And until next time, my name's Scott Davenport. Have fun.